Breakfast. Complimentary Western style breakfast. It's good. They have Dune. The, the first Dune field. What? How is the TV better here than in normal hotels? We have arrived in Legoland, and I'm eager to see how the lines compare to Disneyland. How is the atmosphere? How are all the decoration? How is the food? And we might even make a Lego person at them. And yes, we could get in without any children's being present. Attraction number one. We have infiltrated the Lego factory. Wait time? Only 10 minutes. If I'd need a bag, I'd buy this for sure. Look, each one of these is also a separate little bag. And it has Lego decorations on the inside. Only for 2,500 yen. Thank God I am not a child or have a child, because otherwise I'd... <laughs> This would be, be the last time I saw my money. Oh, Freddy Fosbeer! Next up, Cat Cloud Busters. It is the classic ride of going up and then coming down. Yippee! Okay, this is much different than I expected. You have to pull yourself up. Manual labor. Now this is what waiting line should be. Get to do stuff. Well... Imagination celebration. Wait time, five minutes. Five minutes. Atmosphere wise, I'd say this is like an eight out of 10. It's not as intense and detailed as Disneyland, but it is really cool. And kids, you know, they, they wouldn't appreciate like detail anyway. So I'd say it's a 10 out of 10 for them. We have finally reached a place that has more adult theme rides as well. I thought it was going to be like, you know, only for children, but this is Actually getting pretty intense, you know, you're gonna get at a wild ride, you're gonna get wet, you're gonna get soaked, you're gonna get... Okay, we moved past the Love Hotel, you know, okay. All right, this is pretty fun. It's not as scary as, you know, you might think it is, but it's pretty sick. This is a sushi restaurant that you can go to here, and they even have, like, little plastic sets of the food here. So for 3,800 yen, you can eat all of this, and for 800 yen, no, 1,000 yen, this is what the children can eat. Though I imagine, you know, that's... Well, maybe they get the plastic, I don't know. That's a good way to solve the plastic pollution problem. And while we were having fun in Lego Lab, S. Foxy was having fun in the Formula F1 race. Let's check in with him. Sim racing. And of course the beer. Sponsored by F1 Beer Heineck. And then we got some... Oh look, Mario again. A very sweet. How to make a little bit of money as a side hustle. Just rent out your industrial plant as a parking lot for 7,000 yen a pop. And here we go. Almost the last person. And just like in Disneyland and other parks, they have split this park into different sections. We are now at Miniland, where they have miniatures like the Himeji Castle. If you haven't managed to see Sakura trees in Tokyo, well, don't you worry, because uh, they're here as well. Yo, Mount Fuji. It's all made from Legos. Let's do a quick montage of the coolest thing I've seen. Also, this is the district of Gion. Usually, it's known as the Geisha district, or I guess it still is. It's in Kyoto, and it's recently been banned for tourists because uh, they can't act, you know. They take pictures even though they shouldn't. But if you want to visit it and take pictures, you can come to Legoland. Literally no need to visit Kyoto. I don't know why I'm so infatuated with miniatures, maybe because it just makes me feel so big. So I think it's time to tone down that ego a bit and go to the big land where I can be small. I've never felt this inferior in my life. Massive crook wanted for annoying Legoland residents. It's time. There he is. It's time to apprehend him. Haha, ha, ha, just kidding, it's visual effects. Super Mario Piper. Oh shit, she's going in. The longest line I've seen today, 35 minutes. Can we actually build our own boats here? You can like build a boat in a way and then put it down at the back. 
No way. We got the Lego fries. The Lego ice cream sandwich. And the Lego Costa coffee. What a life. The wafer is pretty shit, but it looks cool. Peace out, brother. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Even the QR codes are made out of Legos. This place is massive. There's the pirate shores, which is like a pirate themed area. There's the Ninjago area. And there's like a huge ass castle back there. We've been here for like three hours already. And it feels like we haven't done anything. Bathroom review. Mirrors. Cleanliness? A minus. Pretty good. Paper towels. Overall, I'd say a tier bathroom. We're now in Lego Ninjago section. You can climb walls here. Though, you know, I feel like I'm too OP here. Cause I could literally just touch the ceiling and win. You have a lightning reaction game over there. And we also got a challenge. We have to find three different stamps. First one, green. We're getting into the crazy rides here. And another ride where I just couldn't have my GoPro with me. But the funnest ride yet. Would really recommend. Last of the puzzle. We got a limited sticker. It's the Lego trees. And the final ride for today. The Observation Tower. POV, you entered GTA Legoland. Time to kill the kid. POV, your Godzilla. And as the final thing here, I purchased build a minifigurine set so I can make three minifigures. Here we go, gamers. That's been it for Legoland. Personally, I'd say it was actually quite fun. A bit more uh, child themed than I'd like, but you know, understandably so. Compared to Disneyland, I would say it's like, there's like a bit less atmosphere here, but there's definitely much more to do. Though the main difference is I would go again to Disneyland, but I feel like I got everything I needed from Legoland today. That's been it for Legoland review. Uh, five out of six. Good place. Yesterday, I showed you a $50 room. Today, I have a $120 room. So let me show you what it all entails. For example, coat hangers. Very nice. You can have a little nook for your shoes or for yourself, but no coming out of the closet here because we don't have one. A full life-size mirror. Okay, maybe almost full life-size mirror. Japanese-sized. Japanese, size. Japanese uh, let me show you the bathroom. We have half of a bathroom, or like half of a toilet here. This is uh, not elongated, but it's fine. I tried the body shampoo already. It, it has a really nice smell. And let me show you my living room. So here we have the TV, the microwave, the kettle. Let's check the fridge. We got a, gla a glass. Oh, and I think we have a free mug as well. Nobody's stopping me from taking it, so it's free. And of course, the bed. Oh, and how could we forget? I'm not gonna say you the camera, but... All right. Wow. I look like a... Lithuanian? I look like a Lithuanian. Now all I have to do is set up my uh, working spot and then I'll see you tomorrow.